Hi, I'm Mary Norris, and today we're going to take on the rules governing commas in restrictive and non-restrictive phrases. I've found a sentence that has examples of both restrictive phrases and non-restrictive phrases. The season's opening night on September 23rd featured a new production of The Marriage of Figaro by Richard Eyre. A restrictive phrase means something that limits the meaning of what it modifies and does not take commas. There was a temptation to put a comma in after The Marriage of Figaro, but that would indicate that we were talking about an unspecified production of The Marriage of Figaro, whereas what we want to talk about here is that production of The Marriage of Figaro that was directed by Richard Eyre. A non-restrictive phrase doesn't limit the meaning of what it modifies. The sentence could do without it, and it is marked off with commas. Fortunately, this sentence also contains an example of a non-restrictive phrase, and that's further up in the sentence. The season's opening night on September 23rd featured a new production of The Marriage of Figaro by Richard Eyre. Originally, the sentence didn't have the date in it, the date of opening night, and that is extra information. The sentence would have read fine without on September 23rd, but it helps to know the date of opening night. It's extra information. So we've put it in and we've marked it off by commas, indicating that it's non-restrictive. The important thing to remember is the context, whether what you're including in the sentence defines the meaning or whether it's an extra detail that has been added maybe to build suspense or to satisfy someone's curiosity, but is not essential to the meaning. So that ought to give you enough to think about until the next time.